lowered versus centered crosshairs on PC and why I think lowered is the better option. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here giving you a little tips and trick video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of tips and trick kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helped out the video and channel a lot guys. It helps more people get to see this kind of video and understand possibly where maybe they want to switch up their gameplay as well. So let's get right into the content here. So ever since the introduction of being able to change your crosshair position on MCC on PC, I've seen a lot of people use centered, a lot of people use lowered, and a lot of people probably think just center is probably the way to go because visually you would think that what you would want your crosshair in the middle of the screen is because it makes the most sense when you're just um, just thinking about the gameplay and stuff like that but honestly I think lowered might be the better option for you oftentimes your halo there's more verticality to the map than there is anything below you more often and so then a lot of times what will happen if you have a lowered crosshair you'll actually be able to see more above you if your crosshair is centered then it actually kind of cuts off a bit of your vertical visibility in your peripheral vision and in this video I want to break it down to show you guys what I'm talking about and why I like to use lowered compared to centered. I've seen a lot of comments on my videos as well when I'm playing in lowered crosshairs on C which default is centered and a lot of people say this looks super weird why are you doing this this is heresy even and things like that and I'm just saying hey man it's just more functional. So let's get into some clips here that I kind of clipped out of CE and Halo Reach and I'm assuming with Halo 2 coming around the corner here that it will also be just as effective as in Halo 2 was the first game to feature lowered crosshairs. So I jumped onto the MCC PC version here and right here I'm using the centered crosshairs the default you see for Combat Evolved and as you can see oftentimes you're in this courtyard area shooting people coming through the door but when you look, change your settings from centered to lowered crosshairs and you save it you can actually see people on top of the arch. You still have just as much visibility as you would for the ground level area, but now you have a whole extra level of verticality you're able to notice. You can also see with the side-by-side -side comparison the difference between lowered and centered crosshairs. You can see on the centered one that you don't have any visibility on top of the arch whatsoever. And look over to the right side with the lowered crosshairs, you can see plenty of visibility where you can catch a guy who's on top of maybe camping out those rockets for your peripheral vision. You can even notice that underneath the arch as well, you still have just about the same amount visibility as you would was centered as well so you don't really lose much in that sense either and also you have less of the ground covering your screen in the lowered crosshair so then like you said like the visibility of what's above you is actually I would say more important to have in Halo than having just like that logical centering of an enemy on your screen as well and so this really does help out quite a lot when it comes to target acquisition and map awareness same thing here just to the left people crossing over this little stream right here is a very common battle area of the fight but on top of the ladder you don't see anything above it you change your crosshairs to lowered and you can actually see if anyone's trying to shoot you from the left side of that little pillar in the middle right above the ladders so very important to know where people are again another map has a lot of verticality to it prisoner right here again often you just find yourself kind of shooting at these two different spawn locations change it to lowered and you can actually see people on the fourth level where the sniper rifle does spawn before you had no visibility of that at all similar kind of thing as well shooting over in these kind of uh prisoner shot air corner over here change it to lowered and you can actually see people who are coming up or shooting at you from atop of the os spawn as well greatly important to key help increase your awareness of where players are on the map it's super important it's because uh, like I said mentioned earlier there's so much more verticality to these maps than there is anything that's below you and so having that extra a couple of inches on your screen really helps with your awareness in game and also gives you extra access to see the verticality that the game has to offer they get to see if you know if anyone's above you which is absolutely important uh, it does have a bit of a side effect of lowering your weapon in kind of an awkward location you can see right here on reach as well i'm using the uh centered crosshair at the moment and you can see how much of the weapon is actually taking up of my screen but when i drop it to lower 
My hand's not so much in the way. I can see above on the catwalk, and the weapon has been lowered as well, and it's an intended position as well for the game. Uh, again, right here at this uh, upper drop area, very common spot to find people. You drop your crosshairs down the lowered, and you'll actually will be able to see people looking right, right above you. Because uh, often times you'll be crossing this area, because that's in the hardcore game modes, that's where the sniper rifle would spawn. Uh, same thing up here as well, as you can see, right where the health bar is, you can see clearly where that blue area area is up on the third floor you put it in the center you don't see him at all and again you don't lose any visibility looking down super important again to reiterate what i'm talking about was not losing any lower visibility but gaining upper visibility with changing your crosshair position take note of the position of the ground right here as you can see compared to my reticle it's and then we switch over to centered same amount of visibility, but way less verticality visibility available for you. Switching back and forth, you can see that you really are losing a lot of area and awareness when it comes to having your crosshair centered compared to lowered. Like, I feel like I'm kind of a broken record here at the moment, but you kind of see the, the common trend here is that Honestly, like I feel like using lowered crosshairs is more advantageous than centered. Though there is a thing with uh, centered crosshairs that kind of gives you that mental centered accuracy where you don't have to use your reticle so much to aim. You can kind of place the guy in the center of your screen and shoot. Many shooters nowadays generally use centered crosshairs, even Halo 5 also uses centered crosshairs. But only Halo 5 and C are default centered. I would assume with Halo 2 coming around, you have that's where a lot of also verticality was brought into that game as well. And you'll see a great advantage when you drop in your lower crosshairs to lower. Again, right here, look at this on Halo Reach. Like how much of my screen, my arm is taking up? How much my the screen, the weapons taking up as well? I'm not really able to see a bunch of people above me. Drop it to lowered, way less blocking on the screen as well. So more visibility for me to see and acquire different targets who may be coming at me. Now, this doesn't necessarily cover up the perspective of what you're seeing. As you can see in this situation as well, I have the needle rifle. As you can see to the right of the needle rifle, it's covered. And I drop it to lower it. It's still going to be covered, but I do have more visible uh, area above me as well. So it doesn't necessarily clear up that issue, but it certainly helps out with seeing above like I've been mentioning. Another thing to take into consideration when people had some concerns on when first bringing this feature into Halo on PC was having the ability to have an advantage or disadvantage depending on the reticle placement of your weapon. Uh, if you guys don't know the weapon, the bolts actually come from the top of your head when it comes to a character model shooting at you. I know it's odd, but that's just how the game is made. And you can see right here in this tweet from Vito kind of helps uh, remove that concern. Basically saying, uh, despite popular belief, centered reticle does not help with head glitching aka shooting but being hard to shoot back at as you can see from these two sh screenshots here the left side is lowered crosshairs and the right side is centered crosshairs and you can see that even though uh, you see them at the same time they have no advantage or disadvantage when it comes to interacting in gunfights so that's super important really glad that was taken into consideration but you can also take into consideration that the left side with classic lowered crosshairs how much more verticality you have compared to the centered crosshairs and how much more of the steps are taking of your screen now obviously this is just a portion of the map of countdown but you take in consideration what if this was a different map that had a whole another level of verticality right there you would probably be cutting that off you would not be noticing it so that's why i'm a big advocate for classic lowered uh, crosshairs when it comes to halo so my consensus after reviewing the difference between lowered and centered crosshairs i think lowered crosshairs has all the advantages you would ever want for halo and center crosshairs actually kind of put you at a disadvantage because like I've been mentioning with lower crosshairs you have additional vertical uh, visibility which is absolutely important for uh, understanding the map and also understanding positioning also with lower crosshairs your weapon takes up less of your screen giving you more visibility to be able to recognize targets as they come your way this is definitely noticeable especially when using the DMR the grenade launcher like I showed and also the sniper rifles it also showcased from Zvito's tweet right there showing that there 
is no advantage or disadvantage when it comes to interactions of gunfights, and so I would think it's almost a no-brainer you have to go with lowered crosshairs. Now, obviously, I've been focusing a lot on multiplayer when it comes to these two different kind of settings you can have because there is a clear advantage, but actually it is pretty nice to use lowered crosshairs in the campaigns as well because in Halo Reach and later on with Bungie games, they put on the big emphasis of having really great looking skyboxes and you get to witness more of the map and geometry and the art that goes behind these games much more often than you do with centered crosshairs. So what do you like to use? Do you use cr centered crosshairs? Do you use lowered crosshairs? If you use centered, why do you like them? Because I prefer lowered for the extra visibility and I feel like better map awareness compared to uh, centered crosshairs. But if you prefer centered, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or want to get more tips on how to get better at Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to keep yourselves updated with everything going on with the channel here. And if you guys missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen over here. A link to all my other videos I've been posting up recently if you've been out of the loop for the last few weeks or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.